So if you're coming to do your university studies in Finland, one of the most important things that you have to do during the application process is to get yourself a student apartment. In this video, I will explain all of the different types of student apartments available for international students in Finland. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel, it's Oliver here. Alright, so what kind of housing options are there for students in Finland? The first and also the most common and also the most affordable of these options is a room in a shared apartment. In shared apartments, you rent a private room in a larger apartment that you share with one or more other people. However, before you think about movies, about college in the US, it's really good to understand that a shared apartment is not the same as a dorm room where you would share the bedroom with someone else. Rather, in shared apartments, each tenant has their own lockable room that you do not share with other people. However, the kitchen, toilet and bathrooms are shared between all the different tenants. Also good to know that most of the shared student apartments in Finland are unfurnished, but each of the private rooms should have a wardrobe for your private storage. In addition, the shared kitchens are equipped with a fridge, freezer and a stove, but if you want to get a water boiler, microwave oven or for example a coffee maker, you have to buy these on your own. Also do know that the majority of shared student apartments in Finland are separated for men and women, but there are also a growing number of gender neutral apartments, but the availability of these will depend on each apartment provider. Next we have a studio apartments. There are multiple types of studio apartments available and they are commonly called normal studios, studios with a mini kitchen and studios with a shared kitchen. Regardless of the type of the studio, all studio apartments consist of a single room with a private bathroom. However, depending on the type of a studio, it can either have a small kitchen with a fridge, a freezer and a stove, or a mini kitchen, which is the same as before, but it does not have a stove. Alternatively, a studio can also have a shared kitchen where all the apartments in the same floor share a large kitchen with multiple sets of fridges, freezers and other appliances. The idea here is to bring all the tenants together to enhance the sense of community between the neighbors. Anyways, regardless of the type of studio apartment itself, they are always rented to a single person and they cannot be shared by other people. Just like in the shared apartments, studio apartments most often come unfurnished but with pre-installed wardrobes for storage. So what is really important to understand is that studio apartments are extremely popular and the waiting times for them can be anything between several months to even a year or two. So if you are interested in renting a studio apartment, please make sure to apply for them as early as possible. Okay, so next we have two room apartments that are rented for a single person. Simply put, two room apartments have a separate bedroom, living room and a bathroom with the addition of a cooking space. Most of these kitchens come equipped with a fridge, freezer and a stove, just like in most studio apartments. Because these apartments are a bit larger than studios, they can often be a bit more expensive depending on the location. However, the waiting times for two room apartments are also a bit shorter compared to studios. So talking about student apartments, if you're coming to study in the Finnish capital region, I really recommend that you check out the apartments from today's sponsor, which is Hoas. So Hoas, or the Foundation for Student Housing in the Helsinki region, is a non-profit foundation and also the biggest student apartment provider in the capital region. They rent, build and maintain over 10,000 student apartments in the Helsinki metropolitan area, and I've personally been living in their apartments throughout my studies. So what is really cool about Hoas is that their apartments like these ones at the University of Helsinki Viki campus are not only super affordable but they're also really well located when it comes to commuting to different campuses around the capital region. For example these student apartment buildings in the Vik campus are just literally a hundred meters away from the University of Helsinki Vik campus buildings which are right here behind me. In addition these buildings just like many other Hoas student apartment buildings are just 10 to 30 minutes away from most of the biggest university campuses around the capital. Anyways more information about Hoas and all of their apartments through the links in the description description box below. So next, family apartments are offered, for example, to couples or to families with children. There are a range of different type of family apartments from one room studios to four room apartments with a range of different kitchen configurations. Do note that most family apartments come unfurnished, but the standard wardrobes, fridges, freezers and stoves do come with the package as described with the previous apartment types. Family apartments are also often located in family friendly locations where the needs of the children have been taken into 
account. In addition to being designed for families, family apartments have one major difference to all other different type of student apartments. This is that only one of the tenants needs to be a student. So for example, if you move to Finland to study and your spouse comes with you with a work visa, you can apply for a student family apartment even if only one of you is studying. However, do know that these apartments are rented on joint tenancy agreements, meaning that the tenants share the responsibility for the rent and other legalities. Just as an example, me and my girlfriend have been living in a two-room family apartment for quite a while now, and even though I have already graduated, we can stay there because my girlfriend is still studying full-time. Great, so next we have a super interesting apartment type, which is a furnished studio with a shared kitchen. So furnished studios are basically the same as the studios with a shared kitchen, with the difference that your studio does come equipped with basic furniture like a bed, a desk, a chair, work lights, and so on. Also naturally, just like with all of the other apartments, wardrobes come as standard for storage. However, what is really cool is that even though you share a kitchen with other tenants and those shared kitchens do you usually have large fridges. Many of these furnished studio rooms also come with their own private fridge so that you can store your food in your own room. Awesome, so a couple of other super important notes about student apartments in Finland. First, whether or not you can have pets in your apartment is dependent on the student apartment provider and the type of apartment that you're renting. However, if you want to have a general rule of thumb, pets are usually not allowed in shared apartments or in apartments with a shared kitchen. Second, the amount of time that you can stay in a student apartment also depends on the apartment provider and the type of apartment but most student apartments do have a limit to how long you can stay there even if your studies continue longer. Third, if you need an obstruction-free apartment, for example if you use a wheelchair, please make sure to add this information into your application so that the apartment provider can take this into account when offering you a place. All right so next I recommend that you watch this video where I explain how much it costs to live in Finland as an international student. Thanks again for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.